Thank you. There we go. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of drag on him. It's a big boys. <laughs> I'm glad I have every. <laughs> I'm glad I went overkill on everything this year. River Rats, we are a long ways from civilization. I mean, 220 mile plane ride. I've never ridden the front seat of an airplane before. 75 mile boat ride away from the nearest Wi Fi connection. And I'm out here fishing for the biggest. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's nice. Nastiest, meanest freshwater fish, I would argue, on the entire planet. And I couldn't be more jacked. So let's go. So I'm getting rigged up. Uh, I think we're gonna run out to, are they leaving me? I'm gonna run out to this big rock in the middle of the river that creates a sweet current break and see if there's anything hanging off on the backside of that. TC caught two peacock bass and a piranha just messing around right where we pulled the boats up. Apparently they're not boat shy. All right, we get these rigged up and we'll see you on the water. So how you been, Jerry? Uh, good. good? Good. Any big fish been getting caught lately? Um, red tails. Big red tails? Those are nice ones. Jared, you coming? TC's been murdering them. I freaking I lost a nice one. Really? Nice. Three yeah. titles you can have. First biggest and most. Nobody can take one more. <laughs> <laughs> we named this the old uh, Peacock Rock. This is where I caught my first peacock bass. You guys got the grippies, so if we hook up. I'm gonna need assistance. Thank you, sir. You're not so bad. I don't care what your brother says. <laughs> How much drag we got? Okay. Need more. Be sweet to just get smushed immediately. Give this a few. Switch to top waters. Oh, son of a. Never fished before, guys. It's fine. This is actually like the 10th time I've casted this reel. I'll come up with more excuses as the day goes on. This is where a peacock hits it, and they will hit a floating, just stationary bait. 100%. Yep, there was one on it. No joke. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> for the moment he ain't bad oh he's just tiny <laughs> well he's not tiny tiny he's freaking out man there's something else I like a hybrid striper that jumps oh they got the grippies that's 50 pounds so I'm so unprepared, Jerry. <laughs> we'll go get the grippies. <sighs> now I'm ready. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, why don't you hold my... We'll do a video. You ever do any videos? Yeah. Perfect. All right, first fish of Guyana 2022. I feel like a real weirdo talking about dates and stuff, but he smushed it right by the bank like they seem to do fairly regularly and fought like a boss. So. And Jerry's the man. I didn't have pliers, I didn't have grips, but he had it taken care of. All right, buddy. And he jets and off like nothing ever happened. Thanks, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's nice. 
or she. Thank you. Not as excited as the last one, but definitely bigger. More stubborn. Oh yeah. It's freaking explosive. Whatever you call it's good enough for me. Yes. All right. I feel like we were just in the same place doing the same thing, but this one's bigger and awesome. Like, like look at the, the eyeballs on that thing. Bright red. They feel like, I feel like I'm holding a fish from another dimension. See ya. I think we had a, a male and female pair, you think so? That was the male? Yeah. Okay. It's more bigger. Yep. Yeah, they go more bigger. Gotcha. The female is a little bit smaller. Gotcha. That was sweet. We've been here for five minutes. <laughs> Jerry says cast here. I'm gonna listen to Jerry. Yeah, we, we would have got out here earlier, but we got interrupted with dinner and things. It's kind of important. Oh, there he is. Yep. He hit it going 100 miles an hour. Oh, he does not like that crankbait in the back of his throat. I don't know if they could, if he could have ate it much deeper than that. It went in his mouth, through his gills. Holy crap. Here, we'll do this. Um, if you pull it through, I got a snap on there and we can take the lure off. Pliers, please. Pliers. Okay. Yeah. We'll get him back in the water real quick. I'm not going to mess with him. He got hooked kind of deep, but get him in the water as quick as you can is his best shot. There he goes. Cool. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Good job. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're not quite active enough to hit the top waters. But he crushed that freaking square bill. These things are like hybrids that jump. That would be the best description I can think of for them. And they, they like to eat stuff, which I appreciate that about them as well. That was about a fun little 20 minute warm up for hopefully big and fun things to happen tomorrow. I'm gonna go put together a game plan with Master Paul. We'll see what he says, but it's gonna be fun. See you in a little bit. It is morning. Uh, TC Paul, Master Paul and I are out here and we're stopping to look at some, some howler monkeys. We got hopefully, we got big plans, whether the plans fall through or not, or fall together or not, this morning will be a different thing. Got a decent night's sleep and hopefully I'm ready to land a really big fish. All right, we gotta get bait. Yeah, we caught peacocks here last year too, but pie are way sweeter. There went one right there, I think. Okay, I'll take both. That's a good idea. Hopefully we get them, but if we do, this is the funnest bait fishing on the planet. Yeah, just taking my whole bag because I. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Paul, did I tell you I have a bucket? Yeah. Okay. Is it shallow by that tree? Yeah, that's shallow. Yeah. So I'll get up here. Okay. Getting buggied already. B. B. Keep a, oh, there was something. <laughs> uh, that was probably a peacock. Oh, what do you got? It hit it almost too hard. Really? Yeah. About ripped the rod out of my hand and then gone. <laughs> Viara? Yeah. All right. It's, it's um, but your low run. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, about lost the rod. It was like, whoop, and then, yeah. then gone. <laughs> Is he gonna jump? Yep. Too big? Yeah. Yeah. We have a bait species, but not a bait size. I think we'll investigate further. Ooh, <laughs> he's excited. Oh, grippers. Here you go. Oh, you about laying in your lap, Paul. There you go. Too big or okay? It's kind of big. Okay. It was fun either way. These are big peacock bass spots out here off these rocks and we're going to head to this little creek mouth and hopefully get some small ones like one, one to two pounders and throw them in a bucket, <laughs> keep them alive, throw a live peacock down there. If anything happens to a live peacock, it's going to be cool. Oh! Let me get the net. <laughs> hold brush? Yeah, brush up. Be careful. Oh, I thought you want me to hold on to it. Oh. No, we need him though. He's bait size. Um. He's bigger than I thought he was. Open up. There we go. Hey, we have bait. Catch me another one so we can use them alive. I guess what am I doing? Um, do we dare give it a try, Paul? Yeah. Put it, put it Good thing TC pulled it together and put a bait in the bucket. And I'm happy we have a bucket to put the bait in. Still kicking? All right, good. Try to get another one or hopefully something. Oh no. <laughs> Couldn't stay away from these things. You don't have much bait, you want to keep them? Yeah. Well, I don't, I'll, I'll hop over there and hand you my pliers. So, or here you take the fishing rod. Of course, he got all three trebles. Paul says, let the professionals handle this. Cool. It's funny, I come to the Amazon and my life continues to evolve around bait. <laughs> when I'm at home, all I do is seems like is catch bait. Then I come here, I'm just fishing for bait. <laughs> We're here. We're gonna catfish every day, but what I'd really like to run into is just a good bite of something. This is uh, where we got into the Kayara really good last year, but that was in the evening, not the middle of the day. So that does make a difference. Hopefully we can squeak out one. One nice five pounder would be A-OK -okay by me. Or an Amazonian drum bud would be neat. Do you have another one? I have one. Oh, oh. one. Piranha? Maybe. Maybe. No, Pyara. Oh. Ooh. That's funny. You need to quit losing those. You're breaking the rules. Says the guy who's lost one today. <laughs> Another one? Right down. That they love that blue. Got, got him. Hang on to him. You got the grippers, Paul. Ah, uh, that's crazy that they're eating that thing and aren't eating mine. Yeah, they're so similar. All right, one's blue. One's got a blue tint. One's got a black tint. 
They're just hard to keep on, dude. Paul, do you care if I try a strip of that piranha? Just a, a chunk, like a little strip of it. Yep. And I'll put it on that spinning rod. I just want to give it a try. It'd probably get chewed to death by piranhas right away, but I don't feel anything. It was just a doop, doop, doop. No, oh, there's another one. Maybe it's a turtle. You ever catch turtles? Yeah. yeah. The turtle woes are even in the Amazon, but I suppose they're probably bigger down here. Got a little chunk of cut bait on the bottom, and it, it fights hard because everything in the Amazon fights hard. <laughs> no big run, though. What are you? Piranha, maybe? I have no idea. A little cat, maybe? Piranha! Big piranha. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner plate sized one. Look at that thing. Do we even keep them for bait? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, he actually started to bend that hook out. And he just mashed the lead on there. Yeah, look at that. Are you putting them to sleep, Paul? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Piranha's taking a nap. So he doesn't bite any toes off. I was hoping that was like a one pound red tail. That would have been sweet. Piranha's pretty neat though. I can't sit here and not catfish. So I'm gonna throw one out. Drag set, almost to terminate. There we go digging into itself. Probably should have tightened that down, but hopefully I can cast enough of it off where it's a non-factor. Wow, I hope I hook a fish that pulls that drag. <laughs> hopefully you hear a Can't tell if that's the current or a fish. Or a boat sway. Hey! Catfish. Bait! What's that thing, Paul? Do you know what kind? There's too many to keep track of, huh? Put him out alive at the next one, maybe? I would no suck it, so that way he doesn't tear off because we're not going to have a ton. Yeah, we're not going to have a ton of bait. And if he, something whacks him and you don't hook up and he's dead, then you just cut him and throw him back out. Yeah, that's the size of baits we need. Catch me one of those, will you? Predictions? Big prana. Yeah. I mean, if you could just guess piranha every time and you're going to be right about 80% of the time. And you would be right. Here, I'll swing him over the top. Yep. How much does he weigh? Three pounds. Bye, piranha. I said... I said I wanted a catfish, not a piranha. <laughs> Guess I'll have to catch my own darn catfish. We've wore out our welcome here. Paul says, next spot, we're gonna anchor. Very sophisticated rock anchor. All natural anchor. All the water, it's like a spring. Water running down. It looks like a fine rock, Paul. Fine anchor right there. Need help with anything? You got her? Okay. I dig it, Paul. It's going to be the reason we catch the 200 pounder. T TC's getting it on that catfish. I'm going to throw that live cat out and catch a 200 on it. Is this the deepest spot in the river? Yeah. We are fishing the deepest hole in the entire river. 
just kind of neat to think about. Here, swing him over here. Look, this is the most excited I've been over bait down here since I've been here. Paul doesn't even know what this thing is, but uh, we know it's bait. <laughs> Yay, exciting. Got him? Got some, some beef to him? He's staying down. Oh! Fall fish or high water fish. That is a cat big enough to share, bud. Yep. He's got grips over here. Yep. I'll take this one. You take mine. Catch me another one while you're at it. What a bizarre... It's like a whiskerless catfish. Live bait? I'll put it on. I'll use it alive. I don't give a crap. That's too big. Got her. Not for a 400. No. 200 pounder would eat that like a snack. You want your picture with him? Sure. I'll take the head chunk off that. Looked like he fought pretty good. Take it. There we go. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of drag on him. Oh. Oof. Wow. We're gaining ground. Red tail? Big red? There he is. Holy cow. I think it's a jowl. Pure freaking power. It's a big voice. <laughs> I'm glad I have every, <laughs> I'm glad I went overkill on everything this year. No. Jow. <laughs> Ooh, he says. <laughs> Are you landing them or am I? Oh man. What? Let's uh, we'll get to the rock, get stable. I'll move these rods out of the way, and I'll haul them in the boat right here. Move my bag out of the way and stuff. And then we'll just let him. Yeah. If he's gonna freak out, he can freak out. It's all clear. Yeah, yeah, clear, clear out. Yeah. You want the rod, or you want me to? You know. Grab him by the mouth? That's my plan. Get hold. <laughs> Turn that sideways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. I think that's what a hundred pounder looks like, bud. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna sit him on my lap. I'm gonna try to hold him up. I don't know if he's 80, 90, or 120, but I know I've never hooked a fish that can pull 30 pounds of drag like that. Yeah, this is basically an Amazon version of a flathead. So, these were pretty high on the, the wish list. And I couldn't be fooled. Like, seriously. Look at that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.
You enjoying the struggle? <laughs> I'm just gonna get his head started and I'll put him in. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, now gonna be majestic. Give me some noise. Oh, trip's made. Day one. <laughs> now I'm gonna drink that beer. You got him? Set the hook. Set the hook. There you go. Oh. We got another big dog. Well, I was on the bank taking photos. TC hooked up on a freaking monster. How much? We'll, well, I'll get that mess untangled here in a minute. I'm snagged on this one. This is pandemonium. Yeah, my chest camera didn't wasn't working on the last one. Oh, now this one's hung on the same thing. You got two snags, Paul. You gaining ground still? Yeah. Sweet. I hope you don't get hung on whatever them are hung on. I don't think he's on the bottom. Okay, good. Keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, we're about to have, if we don't have a tangled mess, we're about to. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's tangled in every one of them now. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he just kicked them. He might've just kicked them, but. It's only right you get to reel one in. You caught the bait. <laughs> Pretty good consolation prize. Yeah. Some might even say that's first place. Oh yeah, another jow. Steer him to the left if you can. He might be just as bigger, bigger than the last one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, bud. All right, I'm going to sit these down. I'll land them for you. Keep them away from them lines and steer him to the left whenever you can and I will nab him. Right. Oh, no. Nice. All right, bring him over here. Yeah, he's as bigger, bigger than the last one. Nope. nope, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. I just need him to open his mouth. <laughs> what a slob. Hooks out, here. Here. Congrats, buddy. Thanks. Hell yes. Look at the crunchers on the inside of his mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> he would do work to a turtle yeah. with them things down in there. Whew. Yep, weak knees. Yep. What do you gotta say about that one, buddy? <laughs> What we came for. Yeah, it is definitely what we came for. One another another one. Can't ask for much more. I'm videoing you, vid videoing the fish, videoing Paul, videoing the fish. It's a, a dream. Smaller. Yeah, no, well, you, okay. Smaller. Okay, he's only 90, 100. Right. Oh, congrats, man. Thanks. Yep. All right, we're going to get some pics and we'll get them back in the water. Let him go whenever you're ready, man. Nice. What a freak show. <laughs> back to back. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Oh, how many peacock bass did you catch? Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Enough to use for bait. Right? This is nuts. It's also nuts that it's like 100 feet deep here. Not any exaggeration. Maybe 120. Why am I bleeding? No swimming. <laughs> Get eaten by a piranha. I don't remember if I said that my chest camera didn't work on that first fish, so. The camera work isn't as good as it could have been, but TC pulled the, uh, the save and got a little bit of video. So I appreciate that, bud. I think that's gonna do it. Um, this is an awesome trip and we're only day one officially of fish, like legit fishing and I caught the fish that I dreamed about on the way down here. Thanks for taking time to watch, it means a ton. Hope you catch a giant.